Ten years ago, the fuel cells and hydrogen joint undertaking set out on an ambitious mission to reduce greenhouse gas emissions and enable a greater uptake of renewable energy. For the last decade, the joint undertaking has been pooling European public and private resources to coordinate research, demonstration and deployment for accelerated market entry of fuel cell and hydrogen technologies. The joint undertaking chose to celebrate its 10th anniversary with a special highlight on increasing public and political awareness in Central and Southeast Europe. The official celebratory event was the Hydrogen Summit, held in Sofia on May 28, 2018, as part of the Bulgarian Presidency of the Council of the European Union program, and with the support of Peter Kurumbashev, member of the European Parliament, the Bulgarian Academy of Sciences, the Ministry of Education and Science, the Ministry of Transport, Information Technologies and Communications, and Sofia Municipality. Dedicated pre-events were organized in Budapest and in Timisoara. While good in science, Central and Southeast Europe suffers from a lack of demonstration and deployment projects. The Hydrogen Transport Highway finishes in Vienna and needs extension to the east. The advantages of hydrogen electric vehicles were demonstrated by the joint undertaking with test drives which turned out to be a spectacularly effective communication and outreach activity. The first Bulgarians who experienced the magic of the hydrogen cars were Adelina and Vanessa, who were driven to their graduation party with the Toyota Mirai hydrogen car. They shared that the feeling was if they were teleported in the future, no noise, extremely smooth and comfortable drive with a single exhaust product, clean, drinkable water. The girls did not know that in Japanese Mirai means future, so they really tested the car into the future. In front of the cameras of the Bulgarian television networks, the executive director of the joint undertaking, Bart Bibak, shared a glass of water drawn from the hydrogen-powered cars with ministers and members of the parliament. The widely publicized news reports made an unforgettable impression on everyone who saw them. The presence of an early kit portable hydrogen refueling station in front of the National Palace of Culture in Sofia and the public demonstrations of the cars refueling made a huge step in refuting the mythological public danger from hydrogen. The Hydrogen Summit in Sofia ensured a friendly platform for open discussion. Invited speakers from the European Commission, European Parliament, fuel cells and hydrogen joint undertaking, industry and research shared their vision on European mobility and energy. Naturally, Central and Southeast Europe constituted the focus of the debates. The panel discussions and friendly conversations in the breaks and during the celebration of the joint undertaking 10th anniversary fostered a new spirit of regional cooperation which boosted the idea for a common hydrogen roadmap. For Bulgaria the impact from the hydrogen summit is gigantic. As the president of the Bulgarian Academy of Sciences, academician Revalski observed, it fostered a speedy growth of the public and political awareness joining the efforts of several Bulgarian institutions and provoking the interest and creativity of innovative companies with the ambition not only to use, but also to develop and produce. The event can be regarded as the official opening of the Bulgarian hydrogen platform. The Vice Minister of Transport, Angel Popov, declared the opening of the first refueling station will be in two years. He promised stimulation mechanisms for the pioneers in hydrogen mobility. The Minister of Education and Science, Mr. Krasimir Volchev, announced the launching of the National Research Program Low Carbon Energy for Transport and Household, which supports the fuel cell and hydrogen technologies. The Mayor of Sofia, Yordanka Pandakova, promised that hydrogen buses can be expected in Sofia in two to three years. 
she also stressed on the importance of hydrogen in the households. Peter Kurumbashev shared his satisfaction to see the two hydrogen cars developed by Bulgarian university students next to the Asian market production. However, an increase of financially supported research centers is still needed. He summarized that Sofia can be a driving center for the research and deployment of fuel cells and hydrogen in the region. The Hydrogen Summit was accompanied by demonstration days in Sofia and in the towns of Stara Zagora and Blagoevgrad. They were organized by the Institute of Electrochemistry and Energy Systems at the Bulgarian Academy of Sciences, the Bulgarian Fuel Cell, Hydrogen and Energy Storage Association and supported by the Educational Foundation, Technokrati and the regional academic centers. Workshops for local policymakers, businessmen, students and the general public were combined with drives and demonstrations introducing the world of the hydrogen economy. On the 1st of June, Children's Day in Bulgaria, more than 200 children, the future end users, connected hands-on with the advantages of hydrogen technologies. The certificates they received after the drives in Sofia will remind them of the car that produces clean water instead of polluting exhaust gases, which they will drive one day, not so far into the future. We all wish the fuel cells and hydrogen joint undertaking on the occasion of its 10th anniversary to continue its successful, unique and uniting mission for the realization of the leading European goal, clean energy for all Europeans. <laughs>